Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're making shrimp and shiitake rice rolls. To start this dish, we need to rehydrate six shiitake mushrooms. Just popping this into some boiling water and setting that aside. We also need to slice up two three inch pieces of ginger into thin little batons. And we're gonna sprinkle this with a half teaspoon of cornstarch. We also need to chop up one whole shallot just into thin discs. We're frying this as well as the ginger. We fry shallots on this channel a number of times now. Once they're all sliced up, we're going to put this into cold oil. You always want to start this in cold oil because there's a lot of water in shallot. We're going to put this over medium high heat, bring this up to a boil. It's going to bubble a little bit because as that water evaporates, but once these turn golden brown, we're going to take these out, put them on some paper towel to drain and immediately salt them. In that same oil, we're going to drop in our ginger sticks, and this should only take 45 seconds to fry. Pull these out, salt these as well, but save that oil. We're going to use it to grease our pan while we make our rice rolls. For the sauce, we need a half of a tablespoon of oyster sauce, a half tablespoon of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of rock sugar or brown sugar if you can't find rock sugar. We're going to bring this up to a boil, making sure that sugar melts. We're also going to add in one tablespoon of water just to dilute this out a little bit and take away a little bit of that salinity. We're going to let that boil for five minutes and reduce down, making sure that sugar is completely dissolved before turning off the heat, adding a half tablespoon of sesame oil and one teaspoon of sriracha. Pardon me. And that's all set, so we can set that aside. For our filling, we're gonna chop a chop up three scallions, separating the whites from the greens, because we're gonna cook the white parts and we're gonna use greens for garnish. Now we're gonna squeeze as much water as we possibly can out of our shiitake mushrooms. And we're gonna take out that inner woody stem because it's not really pleasant to chew on. And we're just going to give this a nice little rough chop. You can also do this with scissors. It makes it much easier. Last but not least for this, we need about a half pound of shrimp. Just giving this a rough chop as well. You may not use all of these ingredients, but you can stir fry them later. For our batter, we need a half cup of rice flour. I encourage you to get the Asian rice flour because it's more finely ground. We also need a quarter of a cup of tapioca starch. This is going to lend another element of chewiness. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon of vegetable oil, and one and a half cups of water. And we're going to mix this into a very, very thin batter. Now, I did this batter twice because I used the American version of rice flour first, and it came out far too thick. Granted, I could have blended it in a food processor, but I had the Asian rice powder on hand, so I decided to use this instead, and I encourage you to do the same. Now, I have a little steamer rack over some boiling water. I'm using the little cookie sheet for my toaster oven because it's nice and flat, but you can also use the plate. We're going to use that shallot ginger oil to grease up the bottom and the sides, doing a thin layer of oil to make sure nothing sticks. We're going to stir up our batter because the solids like to settle on the bottom and we're going to add three tablespoons onto our little tray or plate, whatever you're using, making sure it's as even as possible. Before popping the lid on this and letting this steam for a minute, after a minute we're going to take off the lid and just drop in some of our shrimp. I like to do this on one side or one end because it makes it easier to roll. Add in our shiitake mushrooms, our scallions, and then we're going to cover this up, up again with the lid and let this steam for an additional minute, minute and a half. Then we're going to pull this out carefully because it is a little steamy. Your best friend here is going to be a rubber spatula. I did try to use this other spatula. It did not work. Trust me, use a thin rubber spatula. We're going to slowly start lifting up the edge and we're going to start rolling this over. It's going to look like a hot mess at first but trust the process. Now your hands are your best kitchen tool, so go in with some clean hands and aid the rolling of this little rice roll. Again, the first time I made it with the thicker rice powder or rice flour, this just completely fell apart into chunks. So this thinner rice flour was the way to go. So just be patient with this. 
Take your time, slowly and gently lift the bottom and roll this up, kind of like a little burrito. And I'm so pleased with how this looks. So we're gonna continue to do this until everything we've used up all of our batter. Now to plate, I plated three on my little dish here. We're gonna garnish with our fried shallot, as well as our fried ginger. This is gonna add so much texture as well as flavor. Sprinkle on a little scallion green, just for some color and some freshness. And of course, we cannot forget that sauce that we made. I pop mine into a little soy sauce container. We're just gonna drizzle as much of this as you want on top. And this is looking absolutely beautiful and appetizing. Now let's go ahead and give this taste. I'm just using my chopsticks to cut through because these are pretty soft. And I'm pretty excited to try this. The rice rolls themselves are very tender and chewy. You get that crispy sweetness from the shallot, that spicy crunchiness of the ginger. The shrimp is plump and juicy inside. The shiitake mushrooms add this additional chewy texture and earthiness. The scallions add a little freshness. You get all of that flavor from that sauce. You get sweetness and a saltiness. And this is absolutely satisfying and delicious. And I really do hope you all try to make this in your home. But there they are. Shrimp and shiitake mushroom rice rolls. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you like this video, give it a like. If you loved it, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell because I put out new videos every Thursday. Thank you again. And until next time, happy cooking.